Hi guys, I'm making this video because uh, some people are asking me how to how can they test uh, one of these um, um, backplate sensors? All right, so this is what I do. Right, I make a device simply for four um, pieces of wire, and then you make a four piece um, uh, a four piece. Uh, hold on for a second. Okay. A four piece um, thing here, thingy. I don't know what I call this. Okay, so what you do is because of that, if you notice on the RPM meter, you'll notice that the moment I start doing this, you know, you will see how it says 500 and something, 300, whatever, right? It means that it's working correctly. Okay. So that's how you test. That's how you test uh, one of these things. You create uh, a, a magnetic uh, effect by passing a metal in front of the sensor. Okay, right here. So this here becomes one of the the signals, right? If you look at the signal there, look at how it goes uh, up and down. See how it goes in black and I'm sorry, in green and. So, okay, so that's how you test it. And this is the device that I use. Let me get it out of the, okay. Simply a piece of, of uh, wire, for four uh, wires. And you make it into this and then this works as a, uh, and you, can, you don't even need to see how you can test. See that? So you can test these uh, backplay sensors. It works with any backplay sensor. But um, as you can see, you know, like here, see how it's off and on. See that? So you can, uh, uh, so it will tell you whether it's working or not. So, and if you do it with the, with the, um, drill then it will turn and you know you can can actually measure um, uh, rpm so that's uh, what i wanted to show you guys how to do this okay hope you guys uh, have a good time